Hello friends, welcome back. We are getting into the uh, third uh, session for the Embedded 3 interview question. Uh, I hope the playlist is uh, useful and if you have any specific queries, comments, suggestions, please go ahead and type it in the uh, comment section. <coughs> what is Embedded 3? This question I should have asked as the first question. Uh, forgive me, now it has come. Anyways, it is always better to learn at least now. It is nothing but C programming. It is used for programming the microcontrollers whenever we uh, use embedded C programming we naturally get the support for fixed point arithmetic named address spaces and the basic IO hardware addressing which means we can connect the peripherals with the microcontroller through this programming these are all not supported in the traditional C programming so that is the difference between normal C I mean the traditional C and then the embedded C What is real time and what is real time OS? A very important question when it comes to embedded systems and embedded C even. So let's understand this clearly. Real time is nothing but the logical correctness of the operation within a deterministic deadline. I apply brake, the vehicle should be stopped at that instance and the vehicle should be stopped perfectly. This is called real time. An operating system which can support this real time functioning is called real time operating system and any embedded system will must have real time operating system simple example would be pacemaker the pacemaker will keep uh, tracking the heart rate if the heart rate goes below the prescribed limit there will be a contracting action and the contracting action will bring back the heart rate to the normal operating condition that's it what is inline function this is supported by default in c++ then why did I include it here? This can be asked even uh, in the embedded C programming question as in to test and understand that if you know this inline functions. When a function is declared inline, whenever called, the whole function body, I mean the complete function body will be replaced and substituted <coughs> from the place where you are calling the function. Thus, the total time needed for you to go to the function, get the work done and then to come back to the main place from where you are calling uh, will be reduced since you have everything at the same place you need not utilize stack now you need not waste time in the navigation you need not worry about where will I go where will I take the program counters value how do I update the program counters content all these you need not worry right now because we do not make it a real function right now we have copy pasted the content exactly from the function into the main code itself but the only problem is the code could become a little bigger so how do you uh, declare a function inline very simple just make it inline you can see it here inline int example function that's it when you make it this way every time when you call the function example function x example function y example function z every time when you call it this line will be replaced there so instead of going there well the uh, example is very clear here just make it inline here when you have inline here, that's all. Whenever you call, this content of the function will get copy pasted here. That's it. This would save a lot of time. Mention the use of static. Static variables may be local to your block or external to all blocks. But in either case, they retain the content, that is, the value across the exit from and re entry to the functions and blocks, which means a variable content will not be lost when you make it static. I have got a simple example here. I have got a function where I am calling a function by name add and inside that I have got static int sum equal to zero. Sum plus plus this is the function. So every time when I call this add, I call this for 10 times. Every time when I call this add, the sum should be incremented by one. And since this is static, the value will be retained. You can see that. And this is the way we are using static. What do you mean by priority inversion? We have been always taught this way. Higher priority tasks will always be respected more and they will be treated better. Now, there is a mild change in this concept. If the higher priority task is preempted by the lower priority task, then we call it priority inversion. In this case, the lower priority task will complete the work first and then will let the higher priority task go ahead and use the resource. What are the most commonly used types of IPC mechanisms? 
pipes named pipes semaphore shared memory message queue and socket what is a semaphore what is a counting and binary semaphore a semaphore is a variable that's all this variable will control the access to a resource if this variable say that the resource is available some process can access it if they say that this resource is not available then it cannot be accessed binary semaphore will be used for only one resource where the state can be 0 or 1 whereas the counting semaphores will go with a larger range i have 10 process i have 15 resources i'll go for the counting semaphores <coughs> what is the use of double hash or token pasting or concatenation operator very simple it takes two arguments it concatenates sachin double hash tendulkar will be combined as sachin tendulkar and you can see the output in front of you and this is the use of the concatenation operator or the token pasting operator and what is forward referencing with respect to pointers what is forward referencing with respect to the pointers it's a very important question so please listen carefully so what is it very simple it is an interesting scenario when you come to pointer the compiler shall reserve the memory for the pointer but the variable or the data type is not at all defined by then and the pointer will not even know whose address or which variables address or which data types address it is going to hold so it is totally a surprise for the pointer also the compiler will just reserve a space for the pointer you can see an example here struct is easy star p and i do not know what is the content inside the structure but i have a pointer for it this is called forward referencing we shall see more in the near future i hope the content is meaningful and helpful if you have any queries suggestions please go ahead and type it in the comment section if you like the content please subscribe thank you <coughs>